Top of the more, and I have 15 minutes left. Probably because I recorded a long video about. Oh, by the way, there's I'm apparently breathing air in the car, which is kind of not normal. Yeah. Also, copyright music going on. But uh, in case you read the title, yeah, you heard it correctly. I'm gonna go see Dungeons and Dragons. That is currently playing on a Sunday. When it's scheduled to come out, what? March 31st, the last day of March? Yeah, it's supposed to come out on March 31st, but uh, apparently it's coming out early on a Sunday. This is kind of similar with when I went to go see Knives Out early before it hit Netflix a uh, month later, but yeah, we're on our way. We're kind of missing previews. Uh, what time is it now? It's 11. Okay, there should be like 30 minutes of previews, hopefully, I'm crossing my fingers, because there was 30 minutes of previews when we went to go see Scream 6, and luckily we did not miss the opening scene, yet my mom was trying to find me, but couldn't, and ended up watching, uh, the most brutal opening kill of the entire franchise of Scream. But still though, um, yeah, I, I was originally, I was planning on seeing Dungeons and Dragons this Friday, March 31st, but, uh, thanks to seeing this po- oh, oh, the cookies, okay, okay, I'm Alright, that, that happened. I saw this post and I'm like, no freaking way. And then I look up the showtime and I'm like, I gotta go see it at 2 p.m. And it's currently 2 11 or 2 12 p.m. right And we're just now on our way to head to the theater. So, uh, yeah, this is gonna be interesting. And I was planning on getting Funko Pops of Dungeons and Dragons, but then I thought, you know what, I'm gonna just wait until I see the movie and if I like it, I'll be sure to get them. I'm, gonna, I'm about to see it like five days early, and uh, if I end up loving it, then I'm that's I'm pretty much going to be getting all six of them this April Fool's. Which, I wonder what's going to be going down in April Fool's, and by that, who am I going to April Fool's anyone? Because obviously I'm not going to make a YouTube video of like, I'm playing YouTube. I've already done that like three years ago as an April Fool's prank. Uh, I sadly won't have anyone to prank. I mean, I could try my mom, but... I don't, I don't know. I don't think I've ever April. I, I could actually. I do have one idea of how I could prank her, but uh, I, I, it's an old. Let's just say it's an old junk drawer magic trick I've learned that I showed uh, to a friend or my brother. I don't know, but just if they if they if she has matches, then yeah, that's all I need. Just matches, uh, tissue, and now oh, I don't want to give too much details away. Yeah. Still though, no. uh, yeah, we're about, we're now on our way to watch Dungeons and Dragons, so this could be a short movie vlog. But uh, yeah, I'll see you all in the next clip. Ah, lovely, lovely sun out, lovely day out here. Then again, it is a Sunday, which is why there's a sun out here. No wonder today's called a no wonder there's a Sunday on the weekend. But uh, it was pouring down rain as we were on our way here. But uh, <laughs> I'm a bit concerned if uh, global warming's happening, which could be happening thanks to a Willow project that I've been hearing about turn trending on Twitter. I don't know. I've just been hearing stuff about Willow project or whatever. I don't know. I'm just concerned if uh, the pro oh my god, I'm not gonna show that on camera. Uh, there's someone drew a did someone drew an inappropriate thing. Mom, you have no idea how much I see that everywhere I go, especially in school bathrooms. Yeah, that's terrible. Are they just boys? What the heck? Um, boys are boys, and sadly... How would you know if it was a boy? Could have been a girl. A girl could do that? Yeah, they definitely would. Oh my god. I hate to say this, boys are disgusting. That's a sad fact there. Yeah. It's funny how I walk normal, like, this is how I normally walk, yet I walk so fast. I'm not fast walking. No, I'm just, I don't know, I don't know why. Like, I one time I watched, I did like a, I watched a video and did like a quiz, and the results I got was super speed. Maybe this is, I secretly have super speed. This is how I'm just walking super fast. Like, how I normally walk, and apparently this is, I'm walking super fast when I'm not even fast walking. It's so weird. Mom. Yep. Oh, adorable baby. Alrighty, so uh, right off the bat, I am not a Dungeons and Dragons player. I am a, I'm familiar with the thing with Dungeons and Dragons, thanks to Stranger Things. Well, I played it one time with a couple of friends. Oh, there's a Dungeons and Dragons poster there. Perfect for a thumbnail. Alright, well, now I'm about to go ahead and watch Dungeons and Dragons. Hopefully, we're not missing an opening scene. See you all. What? Oh crap! 
Alright, so we just got out seeing Dungeons and Dragons and uh, we did miss the beginning scene. We think. I'm not sure what we missed. I mean, they, were, they did have the title card, but it sometimes takes like probably 10 minutes yeah. to do the title card and all that stuff. So, so I don't know, I don't know what we missed. missed. But yeah, we did miss it, and uh, not gonna lie, this theater was jam packed. So yeah, we were in the front, and uh, I'll be on. Up. Uh, I don't know if I've ever been like a front person person. I've always just like doing in the back. But what I, but I don't know. I've had this thought about front row seats of what's so good. Like I guess I was wondering what was so good about front row seats. Well, I guess front row seats isn't my thing. Unless it's just mainly for movies. Front row seats could probably be good for other things. Just front row seats, the the big. I don't know. Probably not for me. Why? I, I which would make sense. Why I would just pick the back, the middle, or end, the front row. Uh, <laughs> it was a bit. It was a bit hard watching the movie in the front row. But uh, but but our general thoughts though. Uh, yeah, this this was funny as hell. Like we were just laughing non-stop from beginning to end. Even though we missed the beginning part, which we're definitely gonna have to see this again just to know what happened in the beginning. Cause we don't we don't know what happened in the beginning. Not quite. I mean, I think we missed a little piece of the Probably beginning. like, I'm thinking 10 minutes. Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> we definitely missed the opening uh, scene, but we got to the part where, uh, well, not, this shouldn't be big spoilers, but we got to the part where I guess they were just being judged by court, whatever, and they used one of the judges, a, an owl person, and they just use them to dip out, and they fly out of a building, and, uh, yeah, as soon as they get out of there, tile card hits. But, uh, yeah, we definitely, so yeah, we're definitely going to have to check this out again just to see the opening scene. But our general thoughts, though, this was a lot of fun. I'm not even a Dungeons & Dragons fan. I'm familiar with it, thanks to Stranger Things. I possibly may have played it once or tried playing it with these friends, uh, Honor and, um, uh, Ellie? Not Ellie. Uh, but I, it starts with an E. His name starts with an E. I, I cannot pronounce it correctly or remember the correct phrase. Good God! But um, so I, I, I remember playing something about Dungeons and Dragons. But uh, yeah, I, I would like to give this a try. Uh, try to see what's so fun about Dungeons and Dragons. I, I mean, I, I, I'm familiar with. It. I just never played the games. But uh, even though I'm, I'm not like a huge fan or like a long time fan of Dungeons and Dragons, this movie was a lot of fun. Like. When was the last time we've seen a fantasy movie in theaters? I I can't think of one. Lord of the Rings. It's well, been there a while. Was, well, there was the Hobbit movies. Yeah, it's been a while. Yeah. Anyways, I'm gonna pause right here because we're about to go shopping real quick. So, be right back. And so, see you in the next loop unless I just start recording randomly. Why, hello there. Now, this is gonna be a short one. I'm pretty much it's Wait, gonna how be. Do we just get there? Oh, right by the way, uh, I have my siblings here. We're about to go watch Dungeons and Dragons again, but this time in Screen X. And also, uh, we missed the opening scene, but we do. But yeah, uh, we're, we're now here. So. This time, we're not gonna miss it. No, yeah, we're not gonna miss it. Anyway, so yeah, I'm pretty much gonna be ending this in my movie review, which I was supposed to do today, but I got distracted playing Minecraft all day. Also, I was at a birthday party. But anyways, we should get going. Oh, wait. Making sure that it's locked. Where's mommy? Where's mommy? Wait. Well, wait. What? Let me let me lock the car. Hang on. I gotta lock the car. So right there, I was going to Okay, okay, okay. Run, 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 run. Yes, look for cars. Look for cars. No cars. Oh, gee. Orange people in cool costumes. Wait, seriously? Yeah, epic costumes. They're like coming from the Dungeons and Dragons. Dang! I totally missed it. Oh, you just, I. They were cool too. Like, they were all I feel, up, like, the I time. feel left out. Sorry. Even Dang. Ben, yeah, Ben. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. 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 Come on, come Oh, oh, this is fire. Uh, yeah, I'm not even a Dungeons and Dragons fan, but I should definitely try it out. I've never even played Dungeons and Dragons. Oh, yeah, Super Mario Brothers. I need to get a Mario costume for that. We're <laughs> in the Rainbow Road. That's the Mario Brothers. Yeah, look at this right here. That's, that's, actually, no, yeah, that is Princess Peach. You got that correct. 
No, this is. Uh, this that's is Mario. Awesome. Is that Mario? No, that's Luigi. Luigi. That's <laughs> Bowser and Mario. Luigi's green. Right? No, yeah. Uh, yeah that's wait, that's wait. Awesome. Wario and then what's his the other guy's name again? Luigi. No, that's Luigi. I'm talking about the the other one, the upside down L one. The, uh, he, uh, he wears per. He looks like him, but he's like he has oh, an upside down him. L. No, I don't remember him. There's also another version of Mario, but Wall like Wario. Oh. That's so cool. Okay, so apparently, as I was trying to get Javi out of the car, he was playing Minecraft. Um, there was a bunch of people dressed up in like Dungeons and Dragons outfit, and I missed it. I didn't even get it on camera. It's so upsetting. Anyways, I need a thumbnail, which. I'm not even, well, I'm technically making a movie vlog, but screw it. I'm just gonna get a picture, because why not? Technically, all this footage is gonna be added to the movie review, which I was supposed to make today. Like I said, I got distracted playing Minecraft. I missed it. I missed playing Minecraft. It's been like a long, it's been like a long time. I've been playing Fortnite too much. Okay. Hey, Kavi, can you, like, stand side by side? And it's already falling apart. Okay, okay. Okay, I think that should be good enough. That should be good enough. Okay, okay. You see the shark thing up there? Yeah. That's what Screen X is. You're gonna love it. Trust me. All right, follow me, kiddos. Oh, wait, Javi, follow me. Have you I never... I know that nest. I know that nest. All right. Hey, guys, Watch check this... That. Check this out. Fast and Furious 10. What? Fast and Furious 10. Oh, Spider-Verse! By the way, we're gonna get a trailer of that on Monday. We're about to have the yes, we're about to have the best week of our lives. Spring break. Yeah. <laughs> oh, hey, look, Transformers. What the? Language. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. It's good. Oh. One of the best movies I've seen this year. Definitely going to my top ten. Ladies and gentlemen, we are here. This is Screen X. Right here. Dozens and Dragons. Alright, you guys. You guys ready? No, no, no. That's an example. That's not what you're going to actually say. Why the fuck is she creepy? Oh, she's beautiful. Oh, she's Javi's creepy. got a point. She's, she's totally creepy, creepy in the she's movie. Creepy. All right, we'll see you on the other side. Hey, Creamy, you want to end the intro? I mean, outro? Yes. Oh, okay, watch your language, kiddo. It's not Clark. My name is Kara. I'm more Barry. Okay, so can you scoot down? Okay, okay. Yeah, guys, scoot down, scoot down. Wait, did you hear that? What was that? Well, not that we can do. You guys want to grab pizza? <laughs> Yeah, he did keep talking in the movie, but he was asking questions like, well, what's going on? What was also oh, that's cool. talking random stuff, but still, though. Uh, Karima, what are your thoughts? She has a um. Oh. Uh, yep. Yeah. 9 out of 10? Yeah, I guess she said it had bad Oh, uh, well, it's PG-13, but... Yeah, I keep saying bad words for some <laughs> It was PG-13. It's PG-13, guys, but... It's supposed to be kind of silly, you know? Yeah, it's, it's still, like, a somewhat of a family fun movie, but, uh... Uh, now we have now seen the opening scene, which... Well, we missed a lot. <laughs> yeah, that was, like, ten minutes! Dang. Well, we now have better context of the movie. That totally makes more sense. Yeah. Wow.
But yeah, we definitely enjoyed this for our second viewing, and uh, yeah, this is definitely going on like probably my top 10 surprising movies of 2023. I mean, I expected to like it, but I came out loving it. Also, we got these random D and D posters. A poster, but I don't know what. I don't know what this is, but I'm I'm curious to know what what's up with this. But anyways, I'm now gonna add this to my movie review of Dungeons and Dragons, whether it be in the middle or the beginning, depending. I, it'll probably be in the middle of the video. Okay, I'm now gonna go snap my fingers. Three, two, one. Of course, uh, that was gonna be the case, but I was able to make a separate video of uh, my Dungeons and Dragons movie vlog. But anyways. Uh, so yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, all I got from my uh, vlog experience from seeing Dungeons and Dragons twice, and yeah, I, I did get to see Dungeons and Dragons early on uh, Sunday, March twenty sixth. As I saw a post about, it, which would be this. I was not able to add it early in the video as I was editing this video at school, not during classes, by the way, Dad. But um, still though, I was shocked that that there they were early screenings, and I'm like, there's no one, there's one nearby, right? And there was one nearby, I'm like, oh crap, we gotta go, we gotta go, we gotta get going. And we did miss the opening scene, but we had a good time watching it. Now, we obviously were gonna, we were gonna plan on seeing it again. But, uh, it was fun seeing it again with the kids. Now, yes, it was a little annoying when my little brother was, uh, talking a little bit in the movie, but then again, he's just a kid. But, yeah, uh, I will be doing a movie review on Dungeons and Dragons, where I'll also feature my Funko Pops. The Dungeons and Dragons ones, they're, they're right on the very top, but holy crap, I have my entire window boarded up with... So many beautiful Funko Pops. Okay, getting distracted. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this movie vlog, and as always, I'll see you guys in the next movie vlog, which could most likely be in my birthday vlog that I'm gonna be doing this uh, this Thursday. That I gotta clear, I gotta clear out all storage and transfer all my crap onto my laptop, so I have enough room to make a probably an hour long video. Not that I think it's gonna be an hour long. I think it could be an hour long. I don't know. We shall see. But as always, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.